Hey y'all, welcome to Camara's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this pineapple, orange, ginger, and turmeric juice. And I'm gonna give you some juicy tips, uh-huh, pun intended, okay, as to how you can make this juice without a juicer, okay? Now, for starters, I have here eight oranges. I have two very ripe pineapples. You see how yellow they are? I have one fresh lemon. This is about six ounces of fresh ginger i also have a teaspoon of turmeric and this is dry turmeric and a pinch of pepper they say pepper activate turmeric i don't know but we gonna do it just in case now notice i'm actually using juicing oranges these are not your typical oranges and there is a difference valencia oranges or juicing oranges as you see them called have a higher juice content than your typical orange like you would see here, this is a car car orange. And you can know the difference because this one is gonna have that navel at the bottom. If you see that, that is not what you want to get. Now, if this is the only option in the store, then that's fine. But you are going to get significantly more and a sweeter juice from these. First thing we have to do is that we must wash these pineapples. I'm actually going to be using the skin to make a simple syrup. So you do need to scrub it very well. And if I had a fruit brush, I would be using that. Of course, I'm gonna remove the tops and just make sure you know any pesticides or any residue left is gone. I'm gonna scrub this ginger down and there's a lot of dirt in between those nubs of ginger, especially the big ones. So I just crack a few off and scrub it well, as good as you can. Now these oranges, I know we're gonna peel them, but y'all know, you know, a little stuff be getting on. You know, I don't want nothing in my juice, so I'm just gonna wash everything, okay? Now for starters, I'm gonna work on this pineapple and I'm going to save the skins at the side. And I'm just cutting this very easily. I don't need to get all the eyes out. That's not gonna be necessary. And then you take your pineapple and you give it a fine dice. Now there is a woody part in the middle of the pineapple and because we're juicing it, it is okay to keep. You don't need to cut it out or discard it. Now guys, of course, you know I snuck a little snack all right while i was cutting and if you think that i'm doing a great job so far and this video is giving you value please go ahead and click that subscribe button because i post videos every week this is all my cut up pineapple from both of them and this is all the skins that i am going to save all right but i'm going to discard that little spot that had um you know a little bit of mold or something and i'm going to put some water on on the stove now this water is starting to boil and i'm going to put in my skins and i'm going to use some honey to make this simple syrup i'm going to use about three-fourths of a cup but you could also use a cup of sugar i think the honey is a little bit healthier but we all know this is straight up sugar okay let's not lie to ourselves okay now i'm going to cover it until it hits a boil and then i'm going to leave it ajar so that the water can reduce and make this simple syrup now while that is going on I'm going to peel these oranges. Now, you're gonna find that juicing oranges have a very thin skin. And if you want to suffer and you wanna get all that, you know, orange oil under your nails, you can attempt to peel it. But we ain't gonna do that, okay? Cause I don't have the time, amen. So I'm just gonna cut it in half and I'm going to just peel off the skins on the outside as well as that white pith. And you do need to get off that white part because that part is bitter. And if you blend that into your juice, at least too much of it, it will make your juice kind of bitter. You don't have to get out all of the seeds because they will just be grinded down and it's really no big deal. But those we're just going to discard. And I'm going to chop up all my oranges like this. Making sure to try to get as little meat as possible um, cut off. You'll cut your oranges into little wedges, get rid of some of those little white bits in the middle, and then just place them to the side. Now for our ginger, okay? Now you don't have to peel your ginger, but as I said, sometimes I just feel like ginger is a little bit dirty. So I like to go in with a spoon and just rub it on some of the large parts of the ginger. I know we washed it, but I just like to be careful because you've got to care about what you are putting in your body, right? So I just get off some of the really dry spots and just some of the big spots with this spoon and you'll find that ginger will peel pretty easily. However, there will be a little bit of it left 
And you know what? That is no big deal because that will all come out when we filter our juice. Now, it is important to chop your ginger up relatively small. Now, I know that we're going to blend this, but y'all, y'all better help that blend out. Okay, because y'all know some of these blenders, they, you know, you put them too, through too much stress and they conk out on you in a second. Okay, y'all know some of y'all didn't have a blender breakdown on you more than once. All right, so go ahead and just give it a little, you know, a little dice. Then we're going to place it to the side. Now look at all our freshly prepped fruits. We have this juicy sweet pineapple. We have all our oranges. And we have all of this delicious ginger. And of course, we also already have the turmeric and pepper to the side. Now, this is my simple syrup. I took the, uh, the lid off completely and I'm allowing this to reduce until it is about half. Um, and by the time I was finished with the fruits, because I had the stove on high, it was ready. So I'm going to strain this. You're going to see that it's going to take on a beautiful caramel color it's going to have a light fruity flavor it's going to be sweet but not overwhelmingly sweet some of the sweetness is just coming from that pineapple i'm going to put these peels aside now technically you could blend these up and get juice from that but sometimes we just ain't going we just ain't in the mood to do that okay so i'm just going to put these in the compost bin and i'm gonna snack on a couple of them and when I'm using a syrup in this video, this is what I'm using. You use this to your, um, to your preferred taste, okay? So I have my blender, and remember, we don't have a juicer. So you do need to use a blender, and I'm just gonna put in some of the pineapple and some of the ginger, and a little less than half of a cup of the syrup. I'm going to cut my blender on, and I'm going to allow it to blend down very well. Now, I'm not going to waste this blending session, okay, because as you can see, this blender ain't full, honey. So, I'm going to go in and I'm going to add a little bit more. All right. And then I'm going to blend that again. Once it is ready, I'm going to show you two different ways you can try to strain this juice. Now, one way you can try to strain this juice is to simply put on a fine mesh strainer and gently with a spatula work the juice through the mesh strainer. This option for making juice without a juicer is a little bit more time consuming, but it will work. As you can see at the bottom of my blue pitcher, I did get some juice, but now I'm going to show you my next strategy. I am blending another batch of fruits and I'm adding the turmeric and the pepper and the turmeric is going to stain the juice a little bit, but that's not a problem because as you know, turmeric is super anti-inflammatory. It's very healthy for you if you have achy joints. And this is the second way that you can blend. This is like a cheesecloth. I got this from Walmart. Okay, they were sold as like fabric towels. They're like kitchen towels and put it down in a single layer. You can pour in your juice. And this method, I think, is the best if you can get you one, okay, because you can simply squeeze out all that golden goodness. All right. Look, you can, at first it'll start out a little slow, but put a little pressure on it and you'll see that river of juice start to come down. And it's fairly, it, it does a fairly good job of straining the juice. Now, one way to help encourage it to get out is to sort of work it with your fingers, okay? That massaging will begin to push the juice down and it will push the pulp to the side. Now, this did stain this kitchen towel, so make sure that these are used just for kitchen purposes, all right? And you can take out that um, pulp, and then you can put in your next batch, and you can do the same thing. Um, you just put it in, grab it up at the top, and then gently push down all the juice. And I did this same strategy, blending the fruit, and then straining the juice until I had did all my fruits. Now I cut my lemon in half and I'm going to squeeze that lemon juice into the juice and just catch the seeds with my fingers. I think the lemon juice just gives it a little extra brightness. And at this point, you wanna taste it for sweetness. I felt like it needed about a half a cup more of this simple syrup. And so I mixed that in and I actually just reserved that simple syrup to the side. I'll use that to make a pineapple lemonade. Now guys, I hope you love this recipe. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a little spicy, a little tingly, sweet. 
it's like sunshine all over it. I hope you know that I love you and God loves you. And I will see you next time in Kamira's Kitchen. Goodbye.